Press record, because we are in here. Kent State Apparel on Swole. Headphones, headphones are required. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I would like to welcome my fantastic, fabulous guests that are here for a special occasion. Hey, what's up? What's going on? This is Kala and Athena. Glad to be here with you, bad words. Thank you. <laughs> um, these, these cats are on a mission, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Yeah, well, quite a few, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently I'm in for a surprise. Personally, I think this song is ten times better than the real song. That's just me. What song is this? <coughs> it's um, an electric feel remix by Just Blue. Oh, okay. French. Yeah, um, that's good. So, don't get, don't don't mind the music. This is what I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. It's a little more comfortable talking over music. It sounds better too. If you guys disagree, please call us. You know, three three zero six seven two three one nine three. That is the Black Score Radio hot phone. Give us a call. Say what's up. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, you guys are here to promote the Budapest Festival. Uh huh. Yeah. Did I say yeah. that right? It's called Ziga, actually, and it's in Budapest, Hungary. Okay. Yeah. See, I was right, I was I was confused right off the bat. No, totally cool. Um. But um, do you guys, how did, how did you guys actually hear about this? Because I was going to, stupid question, I was going to ask if you went before. <laughs> well, we heard about it because we were trying to go to Tomorrowland, mm -hmm. which sold out in about five minutes online. Well, actually, they didn't even start selling tickets in the U.S. before they sold out, so it was really lame. Really? But, we were pissed. <laughs> yeah, but then we had to... Uh, do a little research about like other festivals to go to, uh -huh. and after like what a couple hours, we found Zegat, and it just seems like the most legit festival I've ever heard of in my life. Really? <laughs> yeah, and we're really attracted to it because it's super cultural. Like, there's a bunch of stuff going. It's on. all kinds of music. Yeah, um, all kinds of music music genres, and there's like circus and theater groups and. Mm -hmm. exhibits for artists going on. There's a lot of uh, diversity around yeah. there. It yeah. says here that it's the 22nd year. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's this is the 22nd year. And it was voted the best European music festival. In 2000. In the year 2000, so. Yeah. And it's they fast. also were in the Guinness Book World Records for having, um, what was it? The, the most, most kisses? couple kiss yeah. kissing. <laughs> They had like five in, or fifteen, fifteen hundred over fifteen hundred, like in the same area. area. Or yeah, like they counted at the whole festival. I think it was like in the same area at the same time. Oh, I mean, yeah, this festival is huge. It's a two hundred fifty thousand acre island or something like that, and it has like fifty stages and two hundred shows a day, and it's for a whole week long. Oh, okay. I see you have. I was about to ask who's headlining. You got Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Outcast, Calvin Harris, Dead Mouse. Wow. That's what I'm going to say. Is it like a big name festival or is it just like a bunch of really awesome music? I think it's anti, a little of everything. Anti flag. Louis <laughs> Allen. Right? I was really surprised Orville. to see that. And there it is, folks. Songs on the radio. 